Rachmaninoff had incredible influence on music in 20th century um, by remaining to be a very romantic composer and, and not necessarily joining the 20th century uh, as many other people did in his lifetime. Uh, and yet he remained to be very influential and very powerful figure. He is a controversial figure, and which is, I think, not necessarily a bad thing. But one thing for sure, he wrote beautiful music. He wrote beautiful music that I, I am happy to play and always ready to play. I think it's, uh, it's a very unique um, music, and in particular the concerto number three. Um, you know, just think that he could come up with such incredible idea of of writing this monster. You know, writing. First of all, it's one of the most beautiful melodies ever written. The beginning of a concerto. It's really a marvel in um, melody melancholy and expressivity. Actually, I think that Rachmaninoff Third Concerto is the easiest introduction to classical music. I think that it's so thrilling and so exciting, this piece, and it's uh, in a way, it's so, so much larger than life kind of virtuosity that has in that concerto, and yet great sense of poetry, that people who have not been exposed to classical music, they would immediately feel comfortable with that. For me, it's always um, a great event to play that piece, you know, it's, because it's such an interesting piece. Every time I play it, I try to approach it in a very um, fresh way, as if, as if I'm trying to tell myself that I have absolutely no history with that piece. I just try to really look at it as if I was looking at it for the first time. And uh, to see things that I have not seen before, it you know, very often happens that so oh, yes, that the, that phrase, it's coming from that, or maybe it's not. And you know, I haven't seen that before this way. So, I think that's a beauty of great works of music.